Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to take you on a journey on reorganizing, tidying, and sorting out my dressing room, specifically my makeup and my beauty stuff. Now, I have previously done a dressing room tour and it's all good, it was all fine, but I figured something out recently and I thought, you know what, I, I, I do run out of space for my stuff a lot of the time and it does end up a mess. So I had a rethink, thought about what I've got, what I could get to make this space work better and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. So admittedly, it's not all gonna be finished today. Um, I will just explain. So the furniture in here is all Hemnes from Ikea, apart from my dressing table, which is mom. I have a wide set of Hemnes, which is this one here, which has Matthew's clothes in and my socks and pants. And then I have a tall set of Hemnes here, which has my clothes in. Then I have a tall thin one, which has like, which has like hair products, the hair drying, it's all poking out, etc., etc. And then I have my dressing table. So what I want to do is I'm going to rejig the room around. The one thing that I need, which I don't have right now, is another set of tall hemnes for clothes. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this one, the wide one which has got Matthew's clothes in, that's going to be my new dressing table and that's going to home all of the beauty, all of the hair products. And that's going to go over here. So I need another set of tall drawers for Matthew's clothes. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put his clothes in the spare room, in the drawers in there, because they currently are empty. I got spare room drawers with the idea of guests using it, but no one ever stays that long for them to unpack. So if anything, they just look like an accessory. So I'm going to put Matthew's clothes in there, and then I'm going to move the room around if I can, if I'm strong enough. Let's see how we can get on. Okay, so this is my makeup drawer, and as you can tell, it is a bit of a mess. This is the makeup that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is like my everyday makeup. I honestly think I could probably, I could probably edit it down even further as there's stuff in here that I don't use every day and um, I could make it a lot more slick. Then in these drawers, we have my lipsticks. We have all these hair tools, which some I don't even use anymore. And then I have hair products. I have random stuff. And even more random stuff and then I've got my perfumes on the top here and then this is like this and then as you can see these are all my clothes and then Matthew stuff here. I've got washing that I need to put away obviously I'm gonna do and then this stuff is stuff that I've got sent through the post which I haven't found a home for yet but that's usually where all my press samples go obviously not ideal because it doesn't look very nice I need to switch this room around right now and sort out a bunch of my stuff put it in bags stuff I want stuff I don't want and then have a good clean and figure out this room layout. Let's go, let's go. Okay, first things first, make sure you have a nice big mug of tea for the way. Um, I've got a big bag for stuff that I'm chucking out or getting rid of. Um, that's an Ikea bag for life. Got my uh, little JBL flip here. Woo! I think I'm actually gonna listen to Harry Potter. I'm just gonna put everything that's in these drawers into this box here uh, because I'm gonna obviously sort through these later but everything in these I do use so I don't need to sort them out but I'm just gonna put it all in here just so I can get this this whole dressing table out of the way which will be really handy Now that the furniture's out of the way, it might be a nice idea to actually give it a little bit of a clean behind here because it's kind of dusty and gross. I've sorted most of my stuff out now um, into piles of what I want and don't want. So I'm just going to take the makeup, like my everyday makeup, and give it a bit of a clean. I don't want it messing up my stuff. 
and then I'm gonna be putting my everyday makeup in this thing. I just gotta show you this, it's so cool. So most of the drawer inserts that I found that you find for Ikea um, are suitable for the mom drawers I find. But look at this. This insert fit, fits perfectly in there, it floats, but if I want to, because it just fits floating up like that, which is great, I can put things underneath it. Just some flat things, but if I want to put some extra makeup underneath, I can. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put all the stuff that I use lip like every day, like the thing that I always go for in the top, then any extras I'm gonna put below it. So, for example, my Kat Von D, like, concealer and foundation I use every single day. So that'll go in that top bit. Okay, so I am done, I have finished. It did take quite a while to sort it all out, but um, I'm really, really happy with the result. Obviously, like I said before, I just need one more set of drawers for Matthew's stuff, but he came home and he was totally cool with me just putting it in the spare room, which was fine. I thought he was gonna be like annoyed, but he was like, no, it's fine, it's cool. So I am gonna get another chest of drawers like today or tomorrow or whatever. Yeah, so I just wanna show you around to show you what I've actually done and how I've rearranged things. I'm just gonna give you a little tour now of um, uh, what I've done. Starting with my everyday makeup drawer, um, these are the things that I use every single day. So this is this top drawer here, which you take out, and this insert, which I didn't actually know would do this, so it was pure luck that this actually sits and floats in the top here. So we have just the beauty blenders, sponges in this section, um, eye stuff, so we've got my mascara, eyeliner, um, eye primer, eye glitter glue, um, tweezers, eyebrow pen, you get the gist, um, eyelash curlers, brow stuff. So this stuff I use every day. And then moving up we have the foundation that I use, my setting spray, is it my setting spray? Yeah, um, a highlighter, some concealer, foundation powders, and then in this bit is blush. So we've got blush, um, shimmery blush, and then uh, a translucent powder. So, because they just fit nicely in this section. And then if I pull it out a bit more, you can see I've got a highlighter there. Well, this, I just I didn't really fit very well, so I've just put it there, but that's my primer. Um, but anyway, if I take this whole thing out, underneath are all my favorite palettes. So I've just piled them up, um, so they're easy to get to. We also have brush cleaner in there too. Um, but as you can see, these are all the palettes that I use. I've got my Kat Von D Shade and Light palettes. I've got all my Naked palettes here. Woo! I've got my Modern Renaissance there. And just more, like, not all palettes pop, like pile up nicely together, but as you can see, that is where I've got it. Oh, and I've got my big Kat Von D one here, which is the, what's it called? Metal mat. But they're all in there. They take up a lot of space, so it's good that they've got the whole drawer. And I've done the same here. So this is the hair product drawer. Now, as you can see, I've got this little tray, which is smaller than that one, um, little half tray for all my hair ties and hair clips. So all the hair ties are in this section in the middle, and we've got the big scrunchies too. And then in this section, we have little clips like that and loads of bobby pins so they're all in there they won't get lost and then this section is big hair clips and grips but if i take this out it will reveal all my hair products so we've got dry shampoo shampoo heat protection spray split end therapy um, we've got some gel for matthew just everything that i use that are my favorites go in here in here i've got all my lip products so I basically arranged all my favorites in these easy accessible trays. So what I've done is these were where I used to keep my makeup in my old dressing table. So in this section down here, we've got my Kat Von D ones. I've got my Urban Decay Vice. And then we have my Melted Latex from Too Faced. Now, this isn't all of them. Um, they are strewn out between lots of different handbags but they will live in there. These, I just think they look nice together, so I've put all the YSL ones together. This top one, which will sit on top, because they like stack, I've put my MAC lipsticks, we've got this 
thin section, this little cubby hole for lip liners. Got my Rimmel Stay Matte lippies in this section. Shimmery lip stuff here. So we've got like the Glitter Vice and the Everlasting from Kat Von D and the Glitter. And then I just have some Makeup Forever in there. These are just all the other ones that I can just grab the ones that I don't use as much, I've put in this guy. Then in this end one is skincare. So all the skincare that I use on the daily basis is in here. So I've actually put them upright. They do actually fit upright because I had a leak last night and one of the oils leaked all over here. So I just had to clean it out just now. Um, so I've got all my little ones down here, like all my little facial oils, etc. Then I've got my face wipes, which I love. And then up here we've got deodorant, uh, makeup remover, face wipes etc 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 so all the good stuff is at the end and also it makes it easy if you want to put deodorant on just like grab it boom done moving down i have all the other makeup that i use so this is the makeup that i don't necessarily use on the daily basis but it is makeup that i own so all my foundations are in here um foundations and powders and bronzers and highlighters they go in this section as you can see i've got a little family going on these are all my excess brushes, as all my brushes that I use on the daily basis are right there. Then in here is all the glitters and eye glitters. Woo! And then here is just an extra mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow compartment. And then down in this little gap, I've put all my fake lashes and randomly some face paint, as I just don't know where they should live. Okay, and then in this section, we have these two boxes are basically where I put like PR or like blogger packages first so I mean this drawer is a little bit of an exception so that's like other skincare um so I've got fake tan I've got some face masks glam glow and then um if I get any post of makeup in I'm just going to put it in here for the time being until like I've sorted it out or I figured it out or um you know I've used it so then it'll move eventually but that's where it's first going to go end one we've got nail polishes and fake nails in the extra two boxes from the previous one and then just down here it looks a bit messy but I've put just little bags so little makeup bags Bags, little jewellery bags so these are good when I go traveling on the bottom drawer we have I put my hair stylers hair dryer curlers etc in that and um, so they fit nicely in there and then all the brushes live in this little box just so they're all in one place and I don't lose them and then last but not least well, you have to have a miscellaneous drawer like this is just the drawer where I'm gonna put stuff I just don't know where it lives apart from this this has got all my chokers in and my earrings I need a random drawer I just need a shove drawer Boop. So that was it everyone, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I don't know if you're having any like home moving around stuff that this was useful to you uh, or it gave you some inspiration. Let me know if you like my homey videos because I do like doing them um, because I will do some more. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Have a great day and I shall see you soon. Bye.